And I see myself standing there at the two lines that cross in the middle. One purple, one brown. And I see that this is part of the Booker Boy Book Club! <laughs> Where we are reading through all of the International Booker of 2022. And today, finally, Book Three, part six to seven of the triptych that is Jon Fosser's Septology. If you have not seen the last two videos, I will link them down below. And if you are part of the Booker Boy book club at any level, there is a cheat sheet down below that I have made, which will give you a grand overview of what is to come if you just want to jump straight into the last book. Something that I need to address straight off the back can this work be read on its own? Absolutely not. This has to be read within its entirety. If if you have time, read all of them, especially as Fitzcarraldo, the people who produce these lovely blue minimalistic covers, are going to be releasing Septology in one whole book later on in 2022. What is it to say about Septology that I haven't already said within the last two reviews? As pretty much the exact same thing is happening. Ursula is looking at the St. Andrew's cross, one purple, one brown, and is contemplating his life, is reminiscing about his life, is talking about his doppelganger who lives in another part of the town who is currently in hospital Ursula, who looks, who speaks, who has the exact same job as him, but something has happened that has made their life just diverge by a little bit, and we are still haunted by the death of Alice. That has not changed throughout any of Septology. How Fossa is able to grasp hold of all the ricocheting dissonance with these overlapping sentences and structures is beyond me and how he is able to make such a like a, a wonderful harmony throughout the ending is it's beyond it's beyond my capabilities of how anyone would ever be able to do it and and fossa has it, it's it's fascinating. It, you know what? It's fascinating. These we're not doing this. No. Take it away. It's a new day. It's my to do. They got a recluse. Who's late? They're the same name. Alice is dead. <laughs> Double time march? Okay. What is the big appeal? Fascination, fascination in song let me reveal. So prudent, no engine reputation. Oh, 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 oh. Pop pros and meditation. Oh, 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 oh. Religious revelation. Oh, oh, oh. The word is on your lip. Made up COVID positive. I got like nothing in my throat after that. On that note, I completely understand why people have been wanting Fossa to win the Nobel Prize for Literature. This work reverbs. It is cacophonous. They are echoes throughout all of the parts. And this plays in line with Fossa's slow prose, of which he refuses to define. And slow prose on what Fossa has done is unlike anything I have ever experienced. It is unlike anything I have encountered. It is... It's bordering on religious in its scope. And I don't say that lightly. Fossa is clearly drawn from his own conversion into Catholicism here and Ursula is almost accepting, he is inviting, he is allowing God to be part of him, he is allowing 
his deliverance into a being's hand if he is able to bring Alice closer to him. Now Alice throughout this book feels alive but she has been dead from the offset. Ursula has never been able to let go of Alice. He speaks to her. He has conversations with her. If someone was to skim read this you would be forgiven if you thought that Alice was alive the entire time and you missed out the instance where she is dead. The boundary between life and death, what is finite and what is infinite is throughout this book. Sadly I am going to urge you to read all Septology in order to understand Foss's affinity to infinity and I know that there's always something in the way, there's always a medium and it might be a painting to describe when something is finished or unfinished. There might be a religion in the way of what is living and dead. There might be someone in the way between love and hate. But through engaging rather than negating you're able to place yourself at the centre and you can draw those lines yourself. I urge you to read this and it's a nine. It's a nine out of ten. Pick it up, read it. it it's 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 gonna blow your mind.